Republican from the state of California, has uh, Ca South Carolina. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. Two totally sorry. different places, but that's okay. Oh, oh, oh. We're here this morning. Well, <laughs> Every day it, is Monday today, It was a right? senior moment. Okay, <laughs> no, just forgive okay. me, please. I see this issue, well, the Democrats seem to see it as discrimination against trans athletes. I see it as an issue of fairness. How about you? Well, it's actually discrimination against women, if you want to get to the bottom of it. And thank, I want to thank Riley Gaines for having the courage to tell her deeply personal story. A young woman who had to compete against a biological male who was denied a medal, didn't get first place because he, you know, he was much stronger than her physically, and had to share a locker room with a biological male. I mean, yesterday, while we were on the floor, I had an amendment that passed on the bill. It, Republicans were called insidious. They were called transphobic. And what's insidious is forcing a girl to share a locker room with a boy, having to be, change in front of them and compete with them. They're, they're being stripped away of their achievements. And women have come so far. And now the left is going to say, you're not good enough. We're going to allow biological men to compete against you, take away your scholarships, force you in these vulnerable positions. And women and girls are already vulnerable before, before they ever dive into the swimming pool or get onto the court you know and this is the way that women are treated by the far left today surely this will not be accepted in the united states senate well i mean we passed the bill yesterday and what we're being told is it will go nowhere in the senate which is insanity to me i'm a girl mom i want my girl to have as many opportunities as possible and i look at i look at our achievements it took a, it took a hundred years for the state of south carolina to get its first republican woman in in congress when i won in 2020 and it took 154 years for my college the citadel to have women in it we've worked so hard for hundreds of years to get these achievements and now the left wants to strip them away uh, I want to have time for this. You want more action on gun control and abortion rights within the Republican Party. You say the party's stance has gotten too extreme. Could abortion upset and sink the Republicans in forthcoming elections? It, it can. It did in 2020. We did not win as many seats. And I'm pro-life, but I'm also pro-woman. They're not mutually exclusive. And if, for example, if you're going to ban abortion, let's make access to birth control more acceptable. We have 14 counties in the state of South Carolina that don't have a single OBGYN doctor. So there are things we can do to be pro-woman, like we were yesterday, following the science for biological women in sports. But on the gun violence issue, when I say gun violence, some people mistake it for gun control. And that's not what I'm talking about. I carry a firearm when I'm home. I'm, I'm pro 2A, but there are a lot of things that we can do in the middle that uh, would show that we're compassionate towards the increasing gun violence we see in our country today. And those are the things that we need to be talking about. So compromise on those two issues, uh, either compromise or lose. Right. Or showing a pathway leading on those pathway. issues. We don't have to lose on those issues. We can win on them. Got it. Uh, Nancy Grace, thank you. Nancy Mace. First, I said you were from California. <laughs> then I got your name wrong. I mean, you know, it's Monday. I was just going to say Friday is Monday. It's I'll be 75 day. in a couple of months. No, that's, put it down you're doing that. great okay. for 75. Well, thank you very much. Indeed. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> a couple of us all over the place. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> thank you.